thank you guys for coming. I know, I guess it's bad out. I didn't even know there was a storm coming. So appreciate you guys, you know, and get home safely too. Our crowd was awesome. The people that came, I thank them. Um, you know, I'm, I'm happy for our guys. I really am. Um, Indiana's a very good team. He's a really good coach. They're talented players at every position. Um, <clears throat> you know, we were connected today. We're getting healthy. I think that's a big part. Mawat keeps getting better and better. Austin's knee um, has some good practices, too. Five guys in double figures. Played great defense. Out-rebounded a really good and tall team. Um, you know, but, you know, just a great, you know, great team win. They can't... Uh, I can enjoy one day, but we're on to Michigan State. But uh, this team has, you know, fought through some stuff, active as heck today. Our defense was outstanding. Uh, they soaked in the game plan quickly and, you know, just real, real pleased and thankful all the people that showed up and, and make Jersey Mike's a real tough place to play after, you know, being on the road for two straight road games in the Big Ten. Not easy. Chris, go ahead. Went into the decision to uh, start Austin, and I guess what do you think about the way he responded? Yeah, to that? obviously he played, you know, great. He's been practicing well. He's earned the position, so um, you know. And and I loved our bench. We got good bench production, so all those guys, you know, did a good job. And um, he's gotten healthier. Um, you see what he can do rebounding wise and, and finish around the basket, but steals and defensively, you know, his his Big Ten numbers are really good. Um, and you know, if he was just a, you know a little healthier earlier on. Um, you know, I think you would have saw more of that. So, you know, pleased with that. But, you know, we have a lot of starters. You know, I never get too caught up in that. You know. Brian? Steve, how important was this win to not fall to 0 4 in the Big Ten, uh, to I mean, not, it, you know, to end up yeah, four games yeah, it's, it's, it's a great win. The league's tough. And, you know, we go on win streaks, lose streaks. You know, it's a tough league. You played Illinois, who's, I think, they're ranked seventh. You know, we're on the road at Ohio State, a really good team. And, you know, um, so we're figuring out, we're getting healthy. I like this, you know, this group. And you know, it's great to be at home, you know, it really is. And, you know, we, we, you know, every year you go through this, if you're not built for this in this league, then you're in the wrong league. There's a lot of really good teams. This team has a ton of, you know, size and guys on draft boards and everything else. So, you know, and now we're heading to Michigan State, one of the toughest places, you know, to play on the road. So it's another game. We got a lot of season left. These guys keep playing like this. We're, we, you know, we're going to be fine. But, you know, last year we got off to the great start, and then we had losses during the year. Every year, it's just challenging at different times. And, you know, so you know, just pleased. You know, good win, and and we'll enjoy it for five minutes, and we'll be on to Michigan State. Brian, yeah. Steve, that was an impressive defensive performance. I thought one of your best in games. Um, could you talk about the defense, especially going to the two-three zone? Yeah, I mean, 19 offensive rebounds, too. So, um, you know, but our defense, you know, we did a really good job. This team has been scoring a lot of points, especially in the paint. They have two big guys that average, you know, around 30, 35 points a game, you know, every night. And, you know, again, to, to force them to, you know, 19 turnovers. Again, we're, we're leading the league in forcing turnovers. You know, we got to finish on some of those. Um, but, you know, we're getting better. And I like that defensive effort. Our defense been pretty solid all year you know we have to finish more layups that's been an issue for us thought tonight we did a pretty good job and we made free throws down the stretch too to never kind of let them get back in it anybody chris coach um the rebounding has been trending upward uh, you mentioned the rebounding is something you were pleased with tonight just what do you think has clicked for this team on the glass uh as of late? you know you know i just you know think a couple things that you know we learned from our issues we've gotten better we've made it more of you know, in practice and emphasis, these guys have taken it upon themselves and our guards are rebounding. If you look at our guard numbers, Austin, Jay, Mike, you know, very important that it's, it's team rebound. It's not just Cliff, although Cliff had his 800th rebound. He's moving up, I think, seventh place and pretty soon he'll be in the top four or five. Um, so, you know, Cliff, Cliff is a guy that we depend on and the five block shots too, huge. Uh, but as a team, we've just done a better job collectively rebounding. We've out-rebounded all our, you know, Big Ten opponents the last three games. So uh, it's a good trend for us moving moving forward. Alec, in addition to the zone, you know, especially the first half, saw a lot of trapping and switching, especially when it came to renew and wear. How would you say that worked and took them off their rhythm? And how much can do you think we can see that, you know, in the future, depending on the opponent, of course? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's all, you know, it's, it's all depending on the opponent, you know, and how many days too for prep. You know, these days are real tough turnarounds. Like we played Ohio State, we go on the road, come home for five seconds and go on the road again to Iowa. It's probably one of the longer trips you have and then you come home. You don't have a lot of time to prepare. So the more you have time, the more you can implement some, 
some stuff I thought we implemented and they soaked it into. They got to kind of soak in the game plan, but um, you know, we were concerned about them in the paint, and um, you could see by their size and, and how they play that you know that's an issue. But um, and their guards drive it into the paint too. So um, with a few days to prepare, these guys soaked it in and, and, and got the job done. Right. To the players, any of you or all of you, I know you've been through so many wars in the Big East, but I mean, the, excuse me, in the Big Ten, but. When you get a win like this, finally, is there a little sense of relief? Like, okay, guys, now we got one. Andre? Uh, yeah, I feel like I feel like uh, it's definitely a relief. Um, I feel like the games that we played, the last couple games, we definitely uh, had great effort. Um, so just getting the win today, we're going to uh, <clears throat> use this to give us uh, motivation and keep keep the ball rolling. You want? Yeah, it's great. You know, I get the first dub, but I feel like it's always room for improvement. So now he's going to build off this and just keep, keep getting better and don't be too high, too low. And just take ground and, you know, just try to get better every day. That's the main thing, really. Awesome. Yeah, it definitely felt good to get, you know, first win in a Big Ten. So um, big burden off our chest. But I uh, just think we got to keep building from this, you know. Not going to dwell on it a lot. Just move on to the next. Brian. Manuel looked like he got dressed. He warmed up. He, he didn't play. Was it a coaching decision? Was it a health close, thing? Close, close. He's close. I, I don't. There's no longer coaches' decisions on injuries. So it's other people. But he's getting close. He's practicing and he's getting close. I like it. Uh, another Gavin played five minutes. It's two games in a row. He's had a season low in minutes played. Just yeah. what, what is he struggling with? And is it just part yeah, of the freshman? Gavin's going to be terrific. Freshmen go through a lot of you know different things. He's going to be terrific. He works hard. You know, um, you know these guys were playing well too. I think sometimes when you look at who doesn't play, like these guys played really well, so they play minutes, and you know, and he'll have his turn too. And you know, he's doing a good job. He works. He watches film. Real proud of him. But he's a older college basketball players, and you know, it's, it's one of those kind of things. But love Gavin and, and appreciate him. Jaden. Steve, you talked about wanting to push the pace more often this season. You get out in transition, get them on the break, score 19 points that way. How big is that going to be for this team moving forward? I mean, we're playing at a you know a lot faster pace. You know, um, I think you know, and we got a lot of new pieces too. So we're trying to figure it out with guys. And then we had Jay Mike out for a couple of games, and Austin out for games, and obviously we started the season, the first seven, you know, without Mawat. So I think as we keep like growing this group. Um, you know, our fast break will continue to improve too. And, um, you know, I thought we got out and, and, and we got some easy looks for ourselves. So we got to continue that, you know, trend. But then tonight we did a good job of reversing the ball and playing off of each other and getting into the lane. And, you know, we still got to finish better at the rim. That's, you know, that's been an issue for us. So we're working on it though. Guys are working. We'll keep getting better. That's what I like about this team. Every year, my teams get better. Um, and this year, we got a lot of new pieces and a lot of injured guys and that kind of thing. So we're figuring out a lot. But, uh, you know, thankful. Good good effort tonight. Good connected basketball team tonight. Last two, Chris and then Brian. What have you seen from OJ Mike and the way, he, you know, he kind of continues to provide a spark off the bench with his speed, especially? Yeah, I mean, he's, you know, when he was out for those couple games, he's a great energy guy. You know, he can guard people, too, his, his defenses. He fights through screens. He gives us great energy. He can get downhill. Um, you know, he's a freshman, so he, he's, he's really learned. He's done a good job. I know he turned the ball over a little bit tonight, but he's done a really good job of taking care of the basketball and getting us in, in good offense. So, you know, appreciate his improvement. He watches film. He works at it just like he and Gavin. we got two true freshmen that, you know, work at it, and that's why they're going to be good. Last one. Austin, I want, I want to ask you this. 19 offensive rebounds, uh, 51 overall. You had two offensive rebounds. So, so what did it take for this team to have that effort against a team that was longer than you? Uh, it's just energy, you know, toughness. Uh, that's what we've been stressing, and um, you know, that's what it, you know, we brought today. We brought energy and toughness. So.